Hi. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, if you don't remember, my name's Mike. And, uh, hi. Yeah, I, yeah, it's been, what, two and a half, maybe three months since uh, my last video? Uh, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it hasn't been a great time. Um, just various different things happening that sort of caused me to not really go out and shoot. I mean, I've, you know, I've done the, you know, usual shooting with my phone when I'm out, but uh, I mean, in terms of an actual effort for going out to shooting a landscape or, um, toys or animals or whatever, haven't done that really. Uh, not since, you know, basically just after my last video. Um, I'll get into the various reasons, but uh, anyway, today I'm in Birds Hill Park um, and uh, just taking in sort of some of the, the snow and the frost that's uh, that's on the ground, trying not to slip and fall. Um, and uh, yeah. We'll say that there are a few factors for why I haven't really gone out to photograph. Um, one of the big ones is, well, <clears throat> it's been a warmer than usual fall, so we haven't had a lot of snow. Uh, typically, I think, um, you know, by this time of the year, late December, um, there's probably a good, I don't know, foot of snow on the ground. Maybe, you know, something like that. But uh, yeah, we've got maybe a few inches, not a lot. Um, in fact, it uh, took a while for us to get a snow that actually stuck to the ground. Because uh, like we had a snow fall back in late October, just before Halloween. It was a good amount of snow, but it was gone within about a week or so. Um, and I do find that photographing um, between when the leaves sort of finish falling in mid-October to when the snow actually falls and sticks. That's usually not a great time of year for me to photograph just because I don't find much interesting. Um, you know, it's just, you know, dead branches and, you know, lots of just brown and blacks to me I, I, that's 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 nothing that's 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 not worth it um but uh you know and and in, in, in a in a typical uh late fall um yeah i, I probably would have been out a few times already but yeah i mean this is sort of the first time i've really been out since uh since late september early october So, uh, so driving in, uh, saw this, this batch of trees right about here. Um, looking nice and, you know, rimey, frosty. Um, just sort of waiting for the, uh, the light to, uh, from the, uh, the east to sort of come up a little bit more and shine a little light uh, on that. I mean, looks nice as is, but, you know, would be nice to have a little light on it, you know. Uh, 
Uh, I, I will say, other than that crow that's flying in the sky, squawking, uh, it's been okay, and some construction noises somewhere. It's been relatively peaceful here in the park. Um, one of my sort of first compositions here is going to be this patch of trees here. Uh, as you can see, there's some nice light falling on the tree from the, uh, from the rising sun over in that direction. Uh, so, yeah, I'll uh, take some photos of it and uh, should have something nice there. Wait, hang on. Maybe those construction noises are because of the deer? Did, are they licensed to actually, you know, operate heavy machinery? Oh, geez. I will say uh, another reason I haven't been out shooting is, uh, well, COVID. Finally got hit after four and a half years. Um, I, uh, I will say that I did go out shooting. I, I will sort of have to correct myself from earlier. But I did go out shooting on December 1st because uh, the northern lights were out. So my wife and I went to a place called Chalet Beach. Uh, and I kind of felt off all day. Um, and then with sort of the wind coming from uh, the lake, it sort of started really, you know, making me really feel cold. And I couldn't shake that feeling uh, even after I got in the car, had been driving a while, even after I got home and piled myself under about three or four blankets, just couldn't shake it. And I, I tested negative that night, but a couple of nights later, I kind of figured, you know, I finally tested positive and sadly. Uh, but thankfully it wasn't too bad. It was just more of a sort of a bad flu. Um, so yeah, um, haven't really, yeah, haven't really, yeah. <laughs> COVID sucks. Don't, don't get it if you, if you can, if you can't. Anyway. Okay, admittedly, it's taken a little longer to, for the uh, light to fall on these trees over here than I expected. Um, these ones out sort of in the distance there, those, uh, those are starting to get some good light on them. Uh, so I've, I've taken a few photos of those so far, but figured I'd walk in, try and get a cleaner shot of, of, of these trees over here. Because, you know, I don't want the, the branches from these trees to sort of interfere I want some separation there. Uh, so yeah, I guess, uh, yeah. There have been external factors that have uh, affected me mentally. It's, uh, it, it's been on my mind a lot and it's just, it's, it's sapped any energy I've had. I mean, all I want to really want to do some nights is just, you know, when I come home from work is just sit on the couch, watch some TV, then go to bed. That's about it. Um, I haven't really, you know, just haven't, because of those factors, I haven't, had the motivation to go out. Uh, there have been some nights where it's been like, I've seen some nice, beautiful sunsets out my front window uh, and have sort of went, well, maybe I should go out. And then I'm like, eh, don't bother. So yeah, I've, I've missed out photographing on, on some, some nice, you know, nice sunsets and such. And 
Um, even sunrises in the morning um, where I just feel like all I, all I want to do is just go to work. Um, even though I work in a beautiful part of uh, the city. Yeah. Um, I will uh, say that um, I am shooting this video and my year-end video basically at the same time. However, this video is going to have to go out after the uh, the top 10-ish year-end video, uh, just because it'll take me a little longer to put that one together. Um, so yeah, um, so expect this video on the other side of 2024. Uh, so. Yeah. Uh, well, I will say with uh, the photos that I'm taking right now, one thing that sort of spoils it, which can be resolved in Photoshop, is just to remove the uh, the the full lines that are uh, kind of crossing the scene. But uh, yeah, I can. That shouldn't be too hard to uh, to do, uh, unless my computer crashes. Then it will be difficult. But ho hopefully, it doesn't. Ah, should have wrote my uh, heated gloves. Ah, fingers are getting cold. Yeah, uh, maybe I'll go hide in the car for a little bit. Turn on the uh, the heat to, to full. Whew. Ah, jeez, cold. Car says it's only minus seven outside, but whew. There must be a little bit of a wind going on that's just making things colder. All right, I've gone to a different spot, probably only a couple hundred meters from my last spot. Um, as you can see, there's some, some you know, nicely, uh, frosted uh, trees uh, in the background here. Um, uh, I've, you know, I've taken a few shots where I've isolated uh, this, this, this one over here. Hard to tell. It's got the sun in my eyes. It's tough to say which one I'm really pointing at. And there's this one, and this one, and then there's this other one over here. Uh, I've zoomed in enough to sort of isolate them uh, from the uh, the other trees that are over here. Uh, I've also been shooting at f4 just to sort of um, really just keep focus on on those specific trees. Um, I will say however that one thing I failed to do at first was to switch my ISO from 200 which I'd been shooting earlier to 100 because uh, I didn't realize I'd actually blown things out so I had to sort of reshoot those reshoot these uh, trees again with ISO 100 and a more appropriate shutter speed that doesn't blow things out you know I mean you want you want a little overexposure when it comes to snow um, 
but you know because the the camera you know weighs it against a, an average gray and whatever but uh you, you don't want things like totally white Um, I will say, um, with my personality type being very introverted sometimes, um, it's, it, it's, it, it's caused me to, to miss out on, on some experiences, um, that I've wanted to do. It's just sort of haven't really felt comfortable to, you know, enough to do it. Um, you know, getting through that really. Um, I suppose that's also kind of why I do these videos is just as a way to show my actual personality, which a few people get to see. Um, you know, uh, I'm one of those, whoop, hang on, got a car. So, I, uh, yeah, sorry, I was interrupted by a couple of cars that actually wanted to pass through a road that doesn't typically see traffic. Go figure. Uh, anyway, um, as I was saying, uh, as a bit of an introvert, it's, it's tough to, to get out and do things sometimes. Um, and that's, that's kind of why I do these videos is to force myself to get out and photograph uh, and to be creative. Um, and I think it's helped. I mean, I've, uh, I've seen my photography, I think, improve exponentially over the last few years, uh, you know, from starting to, to make these videos back in, in 2020. Um, which reminds me, I'm coming up on four years in February. Cool. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so be bear smart. Are we talking like, you know, average bear smart? Or like yogi bear smart? You know, average, uh, smarter than the average bear smart? I don't know. Hey, boo boo, what do you think? Uh, okay, so I've I've been out here a little longer than uh, than I anticipated. Um, maybe I've got my mojo back. Who knows? Um, maybe this is how Stella got her groove back. I don't know. I haven't watched the movie, uh, so don't tell me. Uh, maybe I'll watch it in the future. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I've uh, I'm having some fun uh, this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. I probably need some water now. Um, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, with, uh, 2023, I haven't done as much as I've wanted to in the latter half of the year. Um, but uh, I'm hoping that'll change for 2024. I'm hoping to, you know, shoot as many videos and take as many photos as, uh, as I have in 2023, if not more. Um, so yeah, I mean, it'll sort of, depends on, on a number of things. Um, so I'm at, at that, you know, at, at this point, I'll just uh, say, do the usual, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, ciao folks.